A pentomino is a plane geometric figure formed by joining five equal squares edge to edge. It is a polymino with five cells. There are twelve pentominoes, not counting rotations and reflections as distinct. They are used chiefly in recreational mathematics for puzzles and problems. Pentaminos were formally defined by American Professor Solomon W. Gallom starting in 1953 and later in his 1965 book Polyminos, Puzzles, Patterns, Problems, and Packings. Gallom coined the term pentomino from the ancient Greek I Euro I one half I I micron slash par copyright NTE, 5, and the Amino of Domino, fancifully interpreting the D of Domino as if it were a form of the Greek prefix D. Gallom named the twelve free pentaminos after letters of the Latin alphabet that they resemble. Ordinarily, the pentomino obtained by reflecting or rotating a pentomino does not count as a different pentomino. The F, L, N, P, Y, and Z pentaminos are chiral. Adding their reflections brings the number of one-sided pentaminos to 18. Pentaminos I, T, U, V, W, and X remain the same when reflected. This matters in some video games in which the pieces may not be reflected, such as Tetris Imitations and Rampart. Each of the twelve pentominoes satisfies the Conway criterion. Hence every pentomino is capable of tiling the plane. Each chiral pentomino can tile the plane without reflecting it. John Horton Conway proposed an alternate labeling scheme for pentominoes, using O instead of I, Q instead of L, R instead of F, and S instead of N. The resemblance to the letters is more strained, especially for the O pentomino, but this scheme has the advantage of using 12 consecutive letters of the alphabet. It is used by convention in discussing Conway's Game of Life, where, for example, one speaks of the O pentomino instead of the F pentomino. Symmetry Pentominos have the following categories of symmetry, F, L, N, P, and Y can be oriented in eight ways, four by rotation, and four more for the mirror image. Their symmetry group consists only of the identity mapping. T, and U can be oriented in four ways by rotation. They have an axis of reflection aligned with the grid lines. Their symmetry group has two elements, the identity and the reflection in a line parallel to the sides of the squares. V and W also can be oriented in four ways by rotation. They have an axis of reflection symmetry at 45 a degree to the grid lines. Their symmetry group has two elements, the identity and a diagonal reflection. Z can be oriented in four ways, two by rotation, and two more for the mirror image. It has point symmetry, also known as rotational symmetry of order 2. Its symmetry group has two elements, the identity in the 180 a degree rotation. I can be oriented in two ways by rotation. It has two axes of reflection symmetry, both aligned with the grid lines. Its symmetry group has four elements, the identity, two reflections and the 180 a degree rotation. It is the dihedral group of order 2, also known as the Klein 4 group. X can be oriented in only one way. It has four axes of reflection symmetry, aligned with the grid lines and the diagonals, and rotational symmetry of order 4. Its symmetry group, the dihedral group of order 4, has eight elements. If reflections of a pentomino are considered distinct, as they are with one-sided pentominos, then the first and fourth categories above double in size, resulting in an extra six pentominos for a total of 18. If rotations are also considered distinct, then the pentaminos from the first category count eightfold, the ones from the next three categories count fourfold, I counts twice, and X counts only once. This results in 5A, 8 plus 5A, 4 plus 2 plus 1 equals 63 fixed pentaminos. For example, the eight possible orientations of the L, F, N, P, and Y pentaminos are as follows. For 2D figures in general there are two more categories, being orientable in two ways by a rotation of 90 a degree, with two axes of reflection symmetry, both aligned with the diagonals. This type of symmetry requires at least a heptomino. Being orientable in two ways, which are each other's mirror images, for example a swastika. 
This type of symmetry requires at least an octomino. Tiling rectangles. A standard pentomino puzzle is to tile a rectangular box with the pentominos, that is cover it without overlap and without gaps. Each of the 12 pentominos has an area of 5 unit squares, so the box must have an area of 60 units. Possible sizes are 6A, 10, 5A, 12, 4A, 15 and 3A, 20. The avid puzzler can probably solve these problems by hand within a few hours. A more challenging task, typically requiring a computer search, is to count the total number of solutions in each case. The 6A, 10 case was first solved in 1960 by Colin Bryan and Jennifer Hasselgrove. There are exactly 2339 solutions, excluding trivial variations obtained by rotation and reflection of the whole rectangle but including rotation and reflection of a subset of pentaminos. The 5A, 12 box has 1010 10 solutions, the 4A, 15 box has 368 solutions, and the 3A, 20 box has just two solutions. A somewhat easier puzzle, the 8A, 8 rectangle with a 2A, 2 hole in the center, was solved by Dana Scott as far back as 1958. There are 65 solutions. Scott's algorithm was one of the first applications of a backtracking computer program. Variations of this puzzle allow the four holes to be placed in any position. One of the external links uses this rule. Most such patterns are solvable, with the exceptions of placing each pair of holes near two corners of the board in such a way that both corners could only be fitted by a P pentomino, or forcing a T pentomino or U pentomino in a corner such that another hole is created. Efficient algorithms have been described to solve such problems, for instance by Donald Muth. Running on modern hardware, these pentomino puzzles can now be solved in mere seconds. Filling boxes, a pentacube is a polycube of five cubes. Twelve of the twenty-nine pentacubes correspond to the twelve pentominos extruded to a depth of one square a pentacube puzzle or 3D pentomino puzzle amounts to filling a three-dimensional box with these one-layer pentacubes, that is cover it without overlap and without gaps. Each of the twelve pentacubes consists of five unit cubes, and are like 2D pentaminos but with unit thickness. Clearly the box must have a volume of 60 units. Possible sizes are 2A, 3A, 10, 2A, 5A, 6 and 3A, 4A, 5 following a one solution of each case. Alternatively one could also consider combinations of five cubes that are themselves 3D, that is, are not part of one layer of cubes. However, in addition to the twelve extruded pentaminos, six sets of chiral pairs and five pieces make total 29 pieces, resulting 145 cubes, which will not make a 3D box. Board game there are board games of skill based entirely on pentaminos. Such games are often simply called pentaminos. One of the games is played on an 8A, 8 grid by 2 or 3 players. Players take turns in placing pentaminos on the board so that they do not overlap with existing tiles and no tile is used more than once. The objective is to be the last player to place a tile on the board. This version of pentaminos is called Galom's game. The two-player version has been weakly solved in 1996 by Hilary Ullman. It was proved to be a first-player win by examining around 22 billion board positions. Pentaminos, and similar shapes, are also the basis of a number of other tiling games, patterns and puzzles. For example, the French board game Blocus is played with four opposing color sets of polyuminos. In Blocus, each color begins with every pentomino as well as every tetramino, every triamino, every domino, and the monomino. Like the game pentaminos, the goal is to use all of your tiles, and a bonus is given if the monomino is played on the very last move. The player with the fewest blocks remaining wins. The game of Cathedral is also based on polyuminos. Parker Brothers released a multiplayer pentomino board game called Universe in 1966. Its theme is based on an outtake from the movie 2001, a space odyssey in which the astronaut is playing a two-player pentomino game against a computer. The front of the board game box features scenes from the movie as well as a caption describing it as the game of the future. 
The game comes with four sets of pentaminos in red, yellow, blue, and white. The board has two playable areas, a base 10x10 area for two players with an additional 25 squares on each side for more than two players. Game manufacturer Lonepus has a number of games that use the same pentaminos, but on different game planes. Their 101 game has a 5x11 plane. By changing the shape of the plane, thousands of puzzles can be played, although only a relatively small selection of these puzzles are available in print. Literature The first pentomino problem, written by Henry de Dany, was published in 1907 in the Canterbury Puzzles. Pentaminos were featured in a prominent subplot of Arthur C. Clarke's novel Imperial Earth, published in 1975. Clarke also wrote an essay in which he described the game and how he got hooked on it. They were also featured in Blue Bailey's Chasing Vermeer, which was published in 2003 and illustrated by Brett Heelquist, as well as its sequels, The Right Three and The Calder Game. In the New York Times crossword puzzle for June 27, 2012, the clue for an 11-letter word at 37 across was complete set of 12 shapes formed by this puzzle's black squares. Video games, Logix on the ZX Spectrum is clearly derived from Pentomino, though it uses a non-standard set of 20 blocks and a 10 times 10 box. Released in late 1983, the game was marketed via the announcement of a cash prize for the first person to solve the puzzle. Tetris was inspired by Pentomino puzzles, although it uses four-block Tetraminos. Some Tetris clones and variants, like the games of Plan 9 from Bell Labs, and Magical Tetris Challenge, use Pentaminos. Rampart uses the Pentaminos that fit in the 3x3 box in addition to smaller pieces. Daedalian Opus uses Pentomino puzzles throughout the game. Yolo. Puzzle Pirate's Carpentry minigame is based on Pentomino puzzles. Chime uses Pentaminos for its pieces. Twin Flicks a free game for iPhone and iPad uses Pentomino as well for its gameplay. Square was inspired by Pentomino puzzles. But it uses Polymino from 1 block Monomino to 5 block Pentomino that fit at most 5x5 box. Street Pass My e Plaza includes a downloadable game called Street Pass Mansion Monster Manor, where the player must traverse a haunted mansion using Monomino to Pentomino shaped rooms as a path. Additionally, the player may meet other Mai's who will give the player puzzle boxes to solve consisting of a number of monominos to pentaminos which must all fit within the provided space. See also, Lone Puss, Tiling Puzzle, Cathedral, Solomon W. Gallone. Notes. References. External links, Pentomino configurations and solutions An exhaustive listing of solutions to many of the classic problems showing how each solution relates to the others. Pentomino solve a program to compute the 16,146 solutions for covering the checkerboard with 12 pentaminos and a tetramino. Polycube solve a program to fill boxes with polycubes using algorithm expansion pentamino freeware pentamino based puzzle. Pentomino for Windows Phone Pentomino for Windows Phone. Pentoplus Polymino Solver by Hartmut Braun. Java Open Source.